there, uh, there are different versions of the golden rule. You know, Jesus says it one way, but others have said it a different way. You know, do good things and good things will happen to you. Or if you do good things for people, they'll do good things for you. Or don't do bad things for people to people because you don't want bad things to happen to you. Or you don't want people to mistreat you as well. Did you notice something about all of these iterations of the golden rule? If you do good things so that people will do good things for you, that's self-seeking. If you refrain from doing bad things so that bad things won't happen to you, that's self-protective. Jesus doesn't formulate it that way. He says, do unto others, even if they never do good things to you, that's self-sacrificial. It's a unique way to offer this peace. See, the Christian message is, 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 is this. It's supposed to be about this. It's not always lived this way, but it's supposed to be about this idea that once we have the vertical reconciliation with God, we can see how our own sin has been paid for. And then we can have that horizontal reconciliation with each other because I no longer see you as an enemy to be vanquished or as a foe to be defeated. I see you just as I see myself, a sinner in need of saving. That's how they become us. And it's no longer just they, and they're always wrong. This reconciliation with God is why the Bible says that peace is not really a process. It's not really policy. It's found in a person, found in the person of Christ. In the Bible we read, for he himself is our peace, who has made the two one and has destroyed the barrier, the dividing wall of hostility. His purpose was to create in himself one new man out of the two, thus making peace, and in this one body to reconcile both of them to God through the cross by which he put to death the hostility. 